Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. Uh, it's great to have this opportunity to share with you again. Uh, I just want this morning to reflect a little bit further on the phrase, be still and know that I am God. That was mentioned on Sunday. Uh, if you remember, Trevor uh, uh, at the end said that was particularly the thing that had spoken to him, that sense of intentionally choosing to be still and know God. Uh, and there's a phrase in Isaiah 40 that uh, at the Fresh Dreams conference was spoken about. Uh, it's this phrase in the first verse, comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Uh, and the sense with this was uh, this word comfort is not about a comfort blanket. It's not about cuddling up warm and being safe. It's the same word in the Hebrew uh, that they would use it. They would use it for to mean changing your mind about something. So this this idea of comfort, receiving comfort, is about turning away from those things that might draw us away from God, or those things that want to grab our attention, and turning instead, turning ourselves towards God. It, it's a purposeful uh, stillness away from other things and towards God, a directional stillness, if you like, the choosing to turn away and to God. It's a great um, opening uh, line in the app, Lectio 365. It's a daily devotional app. Uh, we've mentioned it before. If you, if you don't use it, uh, give it a go. It's really good. Uh, it's found uh, on the App Store and, and other places. And they use this phrase as they begin, as I enter prayer now, I pause to be still, to breathe slowly, to recenter my scattered senses upon the presence of God. It's a great uh, picture there, isn't it? Pausing to be still, breathing slowly, recentering my scattered senses away from all those other things and upon the presence of God. And I use the phrase, thank you for tuning in at the beginning deliberately, because it reminds me of uh, an old television set. The first television set, I think, that we owned was a black and white, about this big. And uh, in order to find the channels, you would turn a, a knob to tune into that channel. So you'd scroll through and you'd just have, uh, uh, you know, the white dots all over the screen. And then you'd get to a point where you could begin to see the picture and you'd keep tuning back and forth until you got it as clear as you could and then you could watch the screen. And it reminds me of that sense of tuning into God, of getting away from all that white noise and the and everything else that's going on and tuning in to get a clearer picture of who God is and to see him more clearly. In Psalm 130, verses 5 and 6, it says this, I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in his word I put my hope. I wait for the Lord more than watchmen wait for the morning. There's a sense here of, of urgency and of, of um, passion and desire to seek after God, to wait after God. Um, I don't know if you've ever done a night shift, but if you have, you'll know what it feels like to wait for the morning, to be longing for that time when finally you can go and get some rest. Uh, and there's that sense here of, of urgency, of desire, of wanting, of waiting with with passion for the Lord. Uh, and so it's an active waiting. It's being still in order to seek and pursue and to draw near to sit in the presence of God. Be still and know that I am God. And the Hebrew word here that's used as know, uh, one of its meanings is to know by seeing for yourself. So there's a sense here that be still and know means that it's in the being still, it's in the turning towards God, it's in the waiting for him that we know that he is God. It's not be still and remember that I am God. It's be still and experience that I am God. Know it afresh and anew. In 2 Corinthians uh, 1 verses 3 to 5, it says this. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort. 
who comforts us in our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. For just as we share abundantly in the sufferings of Christ, so our comfort abounds through Christ. There's a sense here that even in the midst of our sufferings, that we can still receive comfort. There's a phrase here, isn't there? Uh, Just as we share abundantly as, as the sufferings of Christ, so also. In other words, at the same time. Not, not well, we were suffering over here and it was awful, but now we're out of the suffering and we're receiving comfort from Christ. No, it says even at the same time as we share in the sufferings, we also, uh, our, our comfort also abounds in Christ. It's a really interesting uh, picture that, isn't it? And a great reminder for us in these days with all that's going on, that it's not being away from or separated from all the challenges of life that gives us comfort. It's in the midst of those waiting, being still, turning towards God. And so a question, a couple of questions to leave you with. What are your everyday habits of receiving God's comfort? What are you doing practically day by day as a habit to ensure that you are spending time in stillness before God in order to receive his comfort, in order to know, again, to to experience afresh that he is God. And second question from that 2 Corinthians passage 2 is, who are you then comforting with the comfort that you receive from God? How are you taking that comfort that you've received, that strengthening and passing it on and sharing it with others, the truth about God and who he is with those who know him and perhaps to those who don't, but taking that comfort and sharing it with others. There are many who need our comfort and God's comfort in these days. I'm just going to uh, play a song in a moment. The song's called Still, appropriately. And the chorus says this, When the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood. I will be still and know you are God. There's that picture there again, that even as the oceans are rising and the thunders are roaring, even as all the madness uh, goes on around us, that we will be still in that moment. We will soar as we rest in his presence, as we focus our, recenter our scattered senses on him and know again that he is God. And the last line there, I will be still and know you are God. That sense of determination, of intentional choice of saying, I will take that time to be still and know so I hope that's helpful. Uh, just before the song, I'll just uh, pray. Lord, thank you so much for these helpful words from your uh, scripture. Lord, thank you for this sense of being still. Lord, we know how difficult that is for us. Often we're busy and we've got so many other things to think about and to deal with and to do. Lord, would you help us to be intentional before you in these coming days? To be still and know that you are God, to wait on you, to turn towards you, to recenter our scattered senses on you. Lord, help us. How practically can we do that? Lead us and give us the courage to take that decision to do that in the midst of the busyness and all the rest that's going on. Amen. Song will be will start uh, now. Uh, it's great to talk to you. Speak again soon. <laughs>